Welcome everybody to the Let's Build a Network series. So, this is already the fifth video in our Let's Build a Network series. So let's have a quick look and recap what we already did. So, we had first we had an intro in our in our Let's Build a Network sessions where we explaining what network we are going to build, uh, what the topology was going to be, what the steps we're going to do in order to configure. And then the second video was creating a management VLAN so that we didn't have to run around and walk around with a, with a console cable, but that we are able to connect a laptop, turn it to all the switches and do our configuration. Of course, uh, by just conf configuring the management VLAN, we also had to cable everything in order to make sure we had this communication running, of course. Then the third video in a row was the network upgrade. So we showed there how to upgrade via USB, via TFTP, um, etc. We showed an HTTP. So we showed multiple met methodologies and technologies in order to upgrade switches. Then the fourth video, um, that was a video where we were configuring a multiple instance spanning tree in a single instance. So to make sure that we don't get loops in our networking infrastructure. So now we are at the fifth video. And one thing I changed here is that in all the other videos, the my laptop was at port 46, but I'm going to use port 46 now. So I added port 44 to the management VLAN as an untagged port. So and that's where now my laptop is, is configured. So this is the latest status. And this is where we're going to, uh, going to work from today. Um, and what we are going to do is we're going to get to this status. So this is looking a lot. So we're going to create VLANs and IP addresses in this particular video. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create three additional VLANs, 1110, 200, 400, and 210. Because 200, we already have configured. Uh, 100, that's our management VLAN, we already have configured. And 3500, we're going to add uh, the student uh, VLAN, i.e. 200, and 210, the teacher VLAN. And on the 2920, we're going to add the 400 and the 210. So enough talking now. Let's make sure we're going to do this correctly and let's kick it off. So here is um, is the VLANs we're going to create on the 3810. And uh, I also going to show you two different methodologies how you can configure these VLANs. Don't get too scared. It is very easy. It's just two different approaches. Um, one is by typing on the command line, but you don't enter the VLAN mode. I will show you that when we uh, when we do. So every time you need to type VLAN ID number and then a certain command that you want to enter on that particular VLAN ID. In the other mode here, you can we just type a VLAN something and then we get into the VLAN mode and we type the different objects that we want to configure. Okay, so just a quick explanation. This is the 3810. This is the 3500 and this is the 2920. So if you go back one slide here, so you can see 3810, this one, 3500, this one, 2920, this switch. Okay, let's go into configuration mode. Config T, what we're going to first do is this, this mode where we don't enter the VLAN mode. So name services. You can see we stay in the config mode. So if I do a show run now, you can see that the VLAN ID 1110 is created, name services has been entered there. So 1110 and untag only port one. We're going to add the DHCP server there later in the in the, in the next videos or in, in one of the next videos. And then we're going to add an IP address on here. And that's 192, sorry, 192.168 dot one one ten dot one subnet mask is two fifty five dot zero so I'm typing the full subnet mask now okay let's see what we did VLAN one one ten name services untag port one and this is the IP address with the full subnet mask okay that's good now let's configure VLAN two hundred and now we're going to enter the VLAN mode. So as you can see, enter, I'm entering the VLAN 200 mode. So the config is changing here. 
Now we do name student. And as you can see, uh, student, I don't need to type VLAN 200 name student anymore because I'm already in the VLAN 200 configuration mode. I'm going to add some tag ports in here. 45 to 46. IP address 192.168.200.1 slash 24. So I'm also going to show you that here I was typing the full net mask, but here I'm using just slash 24. Uh, so the net mask, the amount of bits I'm going to use here. There we go. Let's type exit. See what we did. VNN 200, name student, tagged port 45 and 46, IP address, that's it. And as you can see, much less 24 resulting in a 255.255.255.0 net mask. Okay, let's configure a VNN 210. Name is teacher. Tag port is 45 to 46. The IP address, now I'm using a, like, a, like an abbreviation, so I don't type IP address completely, just to show you that it is possible, dot one slash 24. Okay, and now the last one is configure VLAN 400. Oh, let me type this correctly. VLAN 400. And do name finance. Tech port 44. 47 to 48, 7 to 48, and I see that I made a mistake in the teacher VLAN, but we will fix that uh, when we configure this one. IP address 192.168.220.1 slash 24. I also want to show you that uh, in this example, I'm, I'm when I'm using a VLAN, uh, ID 210. I'm also using this in my uh, in this in the subnet bits here, but that is not a must. As you can see here is 400, but uh, here I'm using 220 as a subnet. So they are not related. But from an administration perspective, I sometimes like to relate this because then you're knowing. But sometimes it can be also complicated if you're using different subnet masks. Okay, uh, and I told you I made a mistake. Because here I'm using tech for um, the tech ports 45 to 46, and it should be 45 to 48. So let's fix that. 210. And I'm using tech port now 45 to 48. Okay. Exit. Let's verify what we configured. Services VLAN and tech port 1. IP address. Correct. VN200 name student, 45 to 46, uh, tech ports, and this is the IP address. VLAN210, name teacher, and as you can see, we fixed it, the, uh, the tech ports, 45 to 48, 210.1, and the finance is 400, name finance, 47 to, no, 47 to 48, tech ports, and the IP address, 221. Okay, let's save this. Let's move on to the next one. 3500. So this is a smaller configuration. ConfT. So let's configure the student VLAN, VLAN 200. Name student. Tagged 47 to 48. Untagged ports is 25 to 32. So as you can see, we don't configure an IP address on this VLAN because we don't need to. Um, we are configuring uh, tech ports because we are transmitting multiple VLANs over the single over the same link, and the management VLAN was already untagged. Um, and we're also configuring untagged to connect our clients uh, or other client devices, and the untagged ports will be 25 to 32 on the switch. Okay, so let's go to VLAN 210. So I want to show you in the last configuration on the 3810, I, 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 every time I did an exit, but that's not needed. I can also say uh, VLAN 220 and then immediately go into a new, into the configuration mode of VLAN 210. So name teacher. Uh, the tag ports will be 47 to 48. And uh, untag ports 
uh, for the this particular VLAN will be 1, 2, 24. Let's do a show run. This is VLAN 200 student. Uh, Untech port 25 to 32 correct. Tech port is 47 to 48 correct. No IP address. Teacher 210. 1 to 24 is untagged and 47 to 48 is tagged. And as you can see, these uh, these ports are, are both the same. That's what I said. We're transmitting multiple VLANs over the same links. That's why they should be tagged. Let's save this configuration. Exit. Let's go to the 2920. 2920. Conf T, name VLAN, oh, sorry, VLAN 210, name teacher, teacher, tech ports on this switch is 23 to 24, untech ports on this switch is a 1 to 8, and VLAN 400, Name finance. The tech ports are 23 to 24, and the untech ports are 17 to 20. Let's do a show run to verify the configuration. VLAN 210 teacher, untech 1 to 8, uh, tech 23 to 24. VLAN 400, name finance, untech 17 to 20, correct, and tech 23 to 24. Right, ma'am. Okay, so let's recap what we did. We configured all the VLANs on the, on the 3810, we configured the VLANs on the 3500 and on the 2920, also on the uh, 3810, we are configured all the, um, the IP addresses that we're going to use later on as default gateways also to enable routing, uh, directly connected routing on the 3810. So this is it. So we already provided some segmentation now in our network and we don't have just a single VLAN, but we already have multiple VLANs running. Um, and we already tagged the other ports while well, we didn't cable these ports yet, but that doesn't matter, we already are prepared and can cable these ports later. Um, so everything well set, segmentation done. Nothing too exciting, nothing too difficult, I think. It's very easy as long as you take it step by step. Hope you like this video. If you do so, please do a thumbs up on, on the video. Leave comments, ask questions. Make sure we got this community on our YouTube channel going. Thank you very much and hope to see you in the next Let's Build a Network series.